we've made it to Baja and I wanted to go ahead and show you all the truck design, how it all came out, how I've been living in it. Let's check it out. I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what the final build turned out to be. The drawer, the whole closet system by design. So I'll show you everything. All right, so I'm gonna start with the drawer. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Stop moving so much there, bro. <laughs> All right, I made a six foot drawer for my six foot bed so I could fit everything in there. So this is pretty much my entire kitchen. I can fit all my plates and bowls, some pots and pans, most all of my dry goods can fit in the drawer as well as coffees, teas, any spices I have, just the basic kitchen items fit in here, which is really great. And then the back is additional storage and I can access this back portion underneath my bed where I made those little pottery tops that open up, which is really awesome. That's everything I've got in this massive drawer. So I'll go ahead and show you the rest of the interior now. I wanted to create a foyer for myself. So I have a tiny little cubby here, which is really great for muddy shoes. I keep my handy dandy brush in here that I can clean out my truck, my yoga mat, and then some car maintenance things as well, which is really great. And then right over here, I've got kind of a section that I keep my water jugs whenever we're driving. Currently we're camped, so we have them in use, but they fit perfectly here with a bungee cord wrapped around it. Now I'll go ahead and show you the back of the truck. All right, so in the back of the truck, I wanted to make kind of like a living space for myself. So I have a, I call it my sofa, and it pulls out into a double bed whenever I'm ready to sleep, which I'll get to that. And I also created a closet and dresser system for myself. So that way I could have a little bit of floor space instead of two massive big drawers. And I have quite a bit of clothes and I also didn't want to have everything rolled up in baskets. So I made a hanging closet system, which I was pretty stoked about. I used these handy dandy curtain hooks to hang my clothes. And honestly, it's been working totally fine. I also have some baskets that have additional clothes like yoga pants and tank tops and whatnot. And I have some journals and books in here as well. I wanted to make sure that I had a counter space in here so that way when I have the bed pulled out, I can use it as like a bedside table as well as just a drop zone when I'm kind of using the space. And it works great. As far as the bed, I have a foam pad that I just purchased at Target. And when it's not in use, I keep it folded and doubled up here with all my bedding. And whenever it is in use, I can pull up my piece of floor, flip this over, and it's a full bed, which is really great. Okay, so to create the bed, I use the rail system that I made, as well as popping these legs out. piece of wood was what I usually keep on the floor and when I'm ready to make the bed I set it on the rail and just slide it back and then I can flip the mattress over and make the bed. I showed you all the bed of the truck yesterday but I wanted to show you the cab of the truck my awning set up and topper and everything. So let's check around to the cab. So in the cab of the truck, I made this kind of awkward shelving unit that works with the angle of the seat. So I keep some extra jackets in here, sweaters, hats, random things. This bin is more storage and I keep some of my toiletries in here as well as some essential oils and whatnot. All my shoes fit here. Um, it's just great to have more storage. And I have some grocery bags as well. And this side of my 
cab of the truck is just additional storage so I can seat someone behind the seat as well as in the passenger. Currently I'm traveling with my brother so it's packed full with some of our other things but it's nice to keep some tools and whatnot. The whole point of my truck build is that I wanted Cam to be at my truck. So I ended up getting a super affordable awning that I love. I got it from Benahike. It's been great. It's super adjustable, easy to put up with two people. It also doubles as a clothesline and fruit basket, which is really lovely. As for my topper, I really just keep my winter clothes, my paddleboard, climbing gear, some of my brother's things right now, but it's awesome for all those items that I don't want to keep in my truck in everyday use. So I just kind of store everything back up in here. That's pretty much it. I love my rig. It works for me. I designed it exactly how I need it. Hopefully I gave you guys some inspiration to do your own thing. Thanks for checking it out.